and welcome back. People in Wilcox County are painting the town purple to support Presley Lee Jackson's family. This month we told you Jackson died from a condition that caused her brain to bleed and swell. She was a second grader at Wilcox County Elementary School. Celine Arif shares how folks are raising money to support Jackson's family in a story that comes straight from the heart. It started with just one bow and then it grew to almost 300. Meet Lacey Eason. And I was standing there praying and I said, Lord, what can I do to help this family? She's the owner of Talk and Chalk and the woman behind the purple bows for Presley Jackson. Jackson died this month from brain bleeding and swelling. Eason started painting the bows after seeing Kelly Jackson share this Facebook photo. She had her hair braided and the little space buns and Kelly said that was her favorite way to wear her hair. For three weeks, Eason's painted businesses, offices, homes and cars. There were two children sitting in the back seat and each child had a hundred dollar bill and they gave that from their money to this family. All those bows, nearly 300, helped raise over six thousand dollars for Jackson's family. I'm just thankful for all the businesses you can see throughout the towns. I've been to several towns and painted most of the businesses are small businesses. Small businesses like the station. I would describe uh, Pitts as a hidden gem uh, full of wonderful people that support and love on one another. And just down the road, Eason's sister Jill Brooks also has bows on her business. I grew up with um, Presley's parents. I went to school with both of them all the way from elementary to graduating. Um, they've always been near and dear to my heart. She said the Jackson family loves what the town's done to remember their daughter. They are super excited and I think that this is like a small token to show them all the families that are supporting them and showing them love throughout this tragic time. It's a county full of people putting a bow on a tragedy that's shaken up so many people. Reporting in Pitts, Selene Air, 13 WMEZ News. So far, Eason has painted nearly 300 bows around Cordell, Pitts, Ashburn, Sycamore, Rochelle, and Abbeville. If you'd like a bow painted on your home, business, or car, you can reach out to Eason on her Facebook page, Talk in Chalk.